Hornets. He is third in the league at 7-1, but they're about four games off the pace of everybody else. They'll make those up in a hurry this week. They'll go to Texas A&M Sunday and Mississippi State on Tuesday. Tatiana Wyatt and Tamari Key are in the center to jump. Wyatt, standing at 6-2, will give up about three inches to the sophomore Key. Wildcats will move right to left here in the first half, so Tennessee will attack the hoop to your right. Polani Spurlock Welsh has the ball in the center. We're ready to go. The ball skied in the air, and the tip is controlled by the Lady Balls. They'll have it first as Walker runs point for Tennessee, guarded by Chastity Patterson. Kentucky opens up in a man-to-man. Burrell takes the pass on the left wing. She's screened by Key as Burrell rolls to the right, gets all the way into the low post, and a flash by right-hander is good. A runner for Burrell down the right side. And it's 2-0 Tennessee early. Massengill races into front court for the Wildcats, gives it to Patterson, top of the elbow. Here's Howard, free throw line off to McKinney. Left corner three in the air is in and out. Rebound taken away by Tatiana Wyatt. Kentucky keeps possession. Out to Howard, left side. She's guarded by Kush Kittawa. Tennessee in a man-to-man. Here's Ryan Howard flashing into the lane, splits a double team off to Patterson in the right corner. Shot clock at 10. Patterson trying to get loose, forces up a 10-footer, no good. Rebound is tapped around and won by Kush Kittawa for Tennessee. Horston brings it into front court up the near sideline. 2-0 Lady Balls. Here's Horston on the attack, driving into the low post. The shot no good, and the rebound is tapped out to Wyatt. She's got Patterson behind the defense. Here's Chastity at the rack. Gets bumped, hits the runner, no call, as she went through the contact of Walker. And now the shot clock is malfunctioned. So a timeout asked for by the officiating crew, the veteran official Beverly Roberts as they'll reset the shot clock. Patterson got the jumper to go through the contact of Walker and ties the game at two. We're a minute and three seconds into the first quarter. Now they're beckoning the teams to their benches as they take a look at the shot clock issues here inside Rupp Arena. Lady Vols are 12 and three, six and one in the SEC under Coach Harper. They're averaging over 73 points a game and holding opponents to just over 59 with their length. They have a ton of size inside. Now, Renaya Davis not playing tonight for Tennessee. Davis did not make the trip because of COVID protocols. So they're missing their senior out of Jacksonville, Florida, who came in averaging 17 points in SEC play. Kentucky, meanwhile, as we mentioned a minute ago, they've made some changes to their starting lineup. Now, Blair Green will come off the bench tonight. She has struggled in the last four games, limiting to just 10 points on five of 18 shooting, and she's missed seven three-point attempts in those four games. She's 0 for 7. And so Jasmine Massengill takes over the point tonight. They've moved Chastity Patterson off the ball to more of the two guard in an attempt and in a hope to create more offensive possessions and give Chastity more of a chance to score rather than run the offense. Right now the officials are huddled up over near the scorer's table as they work on the shot clock. And it may be that we will not actually have a shot clock timer. We'll see as they have brought out a replacement. So we got a little bit of a delay here at Rupp Arena. And unfortunately, this game started on time with the major ice storm that has hit the majority of the Commonwealth. It was quite treacherous trying to get to the arena tonight. Some fans have made their way out here. There's plenty of blue, a smattering or two of orange here and there that have made the trek up north on I-75. And they continue to try to work through the issue with the shot clock. They do have a replacement board ready if necessary. 8.57 to go in the first quarter. Tennessee and Kentucky tied at two. Lady Vols are one out of two as Ray Burrell hit a runner from the right side, and then Horston missed one from a similar spot. And Kentucky's one of three to start the game. Kiki McKinney missed a three from the left corner. Chastity Patterson, after an offensive rebound, missed a tough 15-footer from the right side, and then they came back down a second time, and it was Patterson who hit the jumper. Actually, it was a runner through the contact in the lane to tie the game at two. But Tennessee already showing their scouting report, and it was very similar to the one in Knoxville, which is just attack Kentucky's interior. Right now, they're getting the ball near the top of the key, maybe in the high post, and they're coming off a high ball screen with their head and their shoulders downhill and going right at the basket as Tennessee has started both of their possessions with a look in the low post. They're already 
attempting shots within five feet, and that's something that Kentucky has really been working on. This coaching staff stressing during practice that you have to create a wall, as Coach Elsie likes to call it. You've got to keep these teams from just lowering their head and driving downhill on you because they're getting too many layups. And Tennessee averages over 40 points in the paint. It appears that the shot clock issue has been corrected. And so they've beckoned both teams back onto the floor. It'll be Tennessee basketball length of the floor to go. Tied at two as Kentucky just scored on their last possession. Kentucky shows up in a full court man-to-man -man press. Nikiki McKinney face guarding Walker on the baseline. Walker finally triggers it into Horston through a trap. They get it away to Walker up the center of the floor. Walker curls to a stop on the left side high of the arc. Ryan Howard is out to guard Walker, the red shirt junior. They'll fire a pass to Burrell at the free throw line. Burrell turnaround jumper in traffic is no good. Massengill taps the rebound out to Wyatt. She clears it ahead to Patterson up the near side. Patterson flips it off on the right. Massengill, a rhythm two is no good from just inside the arc. And Ray Burrell out battles Ryan Howard for the board. Here's Burrell up the center of the floor. Wheels around to the right wing. Comes off top of the circle to Walker. Kentucky in a 2-3 zone it looks like. Walker comes right side to Burrell, 15 to shoot, 8-18 to go in the first quarter. Tied at two. Kushkitawa takes it high left side. In the corner it comes to Walker. Walker cut off on the baseline by Massengill. Shot clock down to seven. Kushkitawa down low. Tamari Key wide open for the layup right side. They double teamed Kushkitawa in the high post, and they forgot about Tamari Key, the tallest player on the floor, standing by herself under the rack. And that was an easy ball movement for Tennessee and an easy score. 4-2 Lady Balls. Here's Ryan Howard, right side, guarded by Burrell, who did a great job on Howard in the meeting in Knoxville. Burrell held Howard to three of 16 shooting. Burrell tips a shot, partially blocks Howard's pull-up jumper at the free throw line. Here comes Tennessee the other way. Horston into the lane in traffic, lost the ball, but gathered herself. Spinning turnaround jumper, no good, and the foul's gonna be called on Massengill. So Massengill picks up her first. Coach Elsey imploring her team during the shoot-around practice today to be physical, to get in there and, and box Tennessee the way the Lady Balls box them in Knoxville. And that time, Massengill picks up the foul. It'll be two free throws for Horston as Tennessee leads 4-2, to two, and Horston misses the front end. Horston, 84% on the year. She doesn't miss many. For the season, Jordan is, well, actually, that's just her fourth miss this year. Second attempt. That one's no good, and Howard with a nice box out of Kushkitawa pulls down the rebound for Kentucky. Howard with a right-hand dribble into front court, left of the center circle, comes down inside the arc, fall away 18-footer over Kushkitawa is no good, and the rebound's taken away by Walker of Tennessee. Back come the Lady Vols as the Wildcats have opened one of six from the floor. Massengill blocks Walker's shot out front, but it's gathered by Burrell, who launches a three. It's no good, and Tamari Key goes over the back of Tatiana Wyatt. That'll be a foul on the sophomore Key. Her first, and the Lady Wild and the uh, Cats get the basketball. Lady Vols retreat into a half-court set. Jasmine Massengill calling out the play. She brings it up the near side of the floor, crosses over the high screen to the right side of the yard. 20 on the shot clock. Three minutes into the first quarter. It's four to two, Tennessee. Patterson between the circles. Tried to dish it to McKinney at the free throw line, and Walker punched it into the air. Nearly hit the Rupp Arena scoreboard over the court. First sub into the game is Drayana Edwards. Edwards, a 6'2 redshirt sophomore, is in for Wyatt, averaging 11 points and seven boards. Had a tough outing in Knoxville when Tennessee held her to two points on one of four shooting. You know she's looking to re, uh, gain a little bit of revenge here tonight. Here's Patterson, free throw line, back to Massengill upstairs. Massengill launches a three for the lead. That comes off strong, rebound key. Kentucky's now 0 for 3 from 3 and just 1 of 7 from the floor as Burrell in transition misses a right-hand floater in the lane and the rebound is collected along the baseline by Patterson. Chastity with her eyes up brings it into front court, stops on the left side of the wing. Patterson open, launches a 3, in and out, it goes back in! Shakes, rattles, and falls and Kentucky leads 5 to 4 off their first three-pointer. That snaps a string of five straight missed shots as Patterson now pokes the dribble away from Walker and it goes out of bounds at half court on the near sideline. And now Tennessee will sub in Marta Suarez for 
Tamari Key. Suarez, a 6'2 freshman out of Oviedo, Spain, averaging just under six points a game, did not play because of injury against the Florida Gators a week ago. Horston against Blair Green, who just checked in, comes to Suarez high on the right. 15 on the shot clock. Free throw line, Kushkitawa. She comes left to Walker. Walker comes back to Kushkitawa, left of the lane, back to Burrell right side. Burrell penetrates into the paint with five to shoot, trying to get around McKinney. McKinney blocks the jumper, ball loose in traffic, and it's ripped out of there by Ryan Howard, who's then tied up by Kushkitawa. Coach Elsie and her staff fired up over the hustle play as Kentucky will get it on the held ball. And now it's the Lady Balls who have missed six of their last seven shots. They haven't scored in over two minutes. We mentioned Blair Green checked into the game, a six-foot junior out of Harlan, Kentucky. Wildcats, uh, one of their best shooters. She's averaging just over seven points. Here's Edwards trying to drive the lane. Comes back to Green. Green then lost the basketball in traffic. Bad turnover. Here's Burrell off the takeaway into front court. Burrell comes to Suarez. Now between the circles, Horston. They'll swing it left to Walker. Tennessee trailing 5-4 with a basketball. Here's a deflection of a cross-court pass. Suarez hauls it in on the near sideline with 15 to shoot. Now back to Horston. She's guarded by Howard man-to-man. -man. Here's Horston off the high screen into the lane, trying to spin, turnaround shot. She got away with a traveling violation, and Horston hits a short jumper out front to put Tennessee back in front 6-5. to five. But here's Edwards driving. Edwards down the left side. Her shot's blocked by Horston. Horston comes away with a basketball. Horston drives, five-foot floater, missed everything. Rebound taken by Burrell along the baseline. Lady Balls maintain possession. 4.50 to go in the first quarter. Tennessee's Marta Suarez gets around Edwards. She missed the shot, point blank. Edwards rebounds. Ryan Howard takes the ball into front court now. A pass comes to Green in the right corner. Green gets down to the baseline, back to Edwards. Right side of three in the air by Edwards. Short, rebound is tapped out. Out of bounds, it'll go off McKinney back to Tennessee. That'll bring us to a media timeout. 4.29 to go in the first quarter. This one low scoring as both teams are shooting well under 30%. And it's 6-5 to five Tennessee on the UK Sports Network. Five, 429 to play in the first quarter. Both teams have missed six of their last seven shots. Kentucky hasn't scored in two minutes. The Wildcats just two of 10 from the floor and one of five from three. Tennessee not much better, three of 11. They missed their only three point attempt. Tennessee has two points apiece from Burrell, Horston, and Key, and they've gotten five points from Patterson on Kentucky's side. Ryan Howard has started the game 0 for 2 from the floor. 
Kentucky has brought Olivia Owens and Robin Benton into the game. Robin is 5'9", junior out of Conyers, Georgia. And Owens a 6'4", redshirt sophomore out of Albany, New York. It'll be Tennessee basketball out of the timeout. Suarez near half court takes the pass. She drives into the lane, gets it off underneath to Kushkitawa against Robin Benton. Kushkitawa missed it, and the rebound taken away by Benton. Ahead to Edwards, far sideline. Edwards finds Ryan Howard in transition. Corner, Blair Green, right side three is good for the lead. And it's 8-6 to six, Kentucky. Second three-pointer of the first quarter for the Cats. This one from Green. Suarez into front court, comes down to the right side, goes underneath Kushkitawa, and they throw it away. Kushkitawa went with one hand after that pass, and it bounced right through her fingers. Wildcats will walk up the basketball. Ryan Howard with the dribble. Ray Burrell meets her. She crosses half court. Howard comes down to the right wing. Still scoreless in the game so far. Here's Green between the circles. She takes the pass. Guarded by Destiny Salary, a freshman out of Jonesboro, Arkansas. Left side it comes to Benton. Shot clock down to 10. Benton to Edwards. Right side, Howard. Shot clock down to 6. Kentucky just now really getting into a motion offensively. Here's Howard, top of the key. A step back three is too strong. And a rebound taken by Benton Long near the arc. She'll feed it to Howard between the circles. Ryan now 0 for 3 to start the game. Howard off the high screen, moving right side of the arc. Comes to Edwards. 10 to shoot. Left side Green. Green gets it to Olivia Owens. One on one with Kuchkitawa. Owens, a five footer from the baseline is good. Left side. And it's 10 to 6, Kentucky. 3.05 to play in the first quarter. Salary brings it into front court with a right hand dribble. Left side of the center circle. Now she moves towards the right side high, guarded by Benton, who's trying for the steal. They'll come right side to Burrell. Howard is on her. Burrell gets to the baseline, charges through a double team and sticks a layup in from the right side. Boy, nobody really stopped Burrell on that aggressive drive along the baseline. She split right through two Wildcats. 2.38 to play in the first quarter. It's 10-8 Kentucky. Howard with the dribble left wing against Burrell. Howard using his pick to get to the top of the circle, moving right. Suarez closes out on her, put the hip to her, no whistle. They come back to Benton, right wing three in the air, too strong, and the rebound ripped away by Owens, who powers up, missed the layup. Rebound is tapped around. It's going to be loose, and now a foul over the back on Kentucky. This is going to go on Owens. That's her first, and the team's second. Well, one thing about it, they're letting them play here tonight as Ryan Howard checks out. Jasmine Massengill returns. Walker returns for Tennessee, and out goes Horston for a breather. So Kentucky playing right now without Ryan Howard on the floor. 2.15 to go first quarter. Walker into front court, pushes it to Burrell. Burrell gets down towards the right baseline, now steps back out for a long jumper, no good, and it's going to go out of bounds on the baseline. Pursued by Kush Kittawa, but she didn't get there in time. Tess Darby, a 6'1 freshman out of Greenfield. Tennessee, Greenfield, Tennessee, checks in for the Lady Balls as Suarez goes out. So Kelly Jolly Harper going to her bench early and often. Massengill calling out the play, finds Benton left side. Kentucky with the ball, attacking the rim to your left. Massengill comes to Edwards, top of the key. Edwards driving right on Darby's got the matchup, gets fouled on her way to the basket, but missed the runner wild. And that's going to go on Darby, her first, team second, and two free throws coming for Drayana Edwards, who's scoreless in tonight's game. Patterson is five of Kentucky's ten points. Green has a three. 152 to play in the opening quarter here at Rupp. This will be Kentucky's first trip to the line tonight, and Edwards hits the free throw. Pushes the lead back to four. Beg your pardon for three. This one would make it four. It's on the way and no good. Rebound Kush Kittawa and Owens nearly went over the back, got away with it. So it's a three-point lead for the Wildcats, 11-8. Walker pushes left Burrell, thought about the open three. Benton closed down on her. They come back to Walker. 18 on the shot clock. Lady Balls are very patient offensively, and they spread the floor well, creating space inside. 
Ten seconds on the shot clock. Walker still dribbles. Comes down the left side against Edwards. Edwards might have gotten a hand on that shot, but it comes off the rim strong back to Walker. In the left corner, here's a three for the tie that's in and out. That was shot by Salary. Another offensive rebound by Walker, taken away by Edwards. She feeds Benton ahead of the pack. Benton's runner is good down the left side. Benton's first bucket comes off a great assist by Edwards, who just blocked the shot and ripped it away from Walker, and it's 13-8 Kentucky. 103 to go in the first quarter. Burrell against Green comes top of the key to Darby. Darby uses a shot fake, gets to the free throw line. Edwards blocks another shot, but it's picked up by Salary, who scores and is fouled inside. Kentucky playing aggressive for the steal. They forgot Salary was inside when that shot was blocked. And trying to keep her from scoring, they commit the foul, and it's an and one opportunity for the Lady Balls. Emily Saunders, a sophomore out of Mullins, West Virginia, checks in. And wholesale changes for Kentucky. Tatiana Wyatt, Kiki McKinney are back in, along with Chastity Patterson. 54 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Cats 13, Lady Vols 10. Salary at the line trying to make it a two-point game, and her free throw is good. Not many free throw attempts for Salary, but she's now four out of seven on the year. Here's Patterson quickly in the front court, comes down to the free throw line, pull up jumper, missed long, and the rebound is loose. It's going to be out of bounds. Last touch by McKinney underneath. She was battling Salary for the board, and now Tennessee can tie or even take the lead this possession. A short-lived five-point lead for the Wildcats. Walker on the dribble into front court. Massengill picks her up just in front of the center circle. A 14-second difference between the game clock and shot clock, so plenty of time for the Lady Balls to operate. Down to 13 to shoot. Burrell out front against Blair Green. Comes left to Walker. Kentucky man-to-man. Shot clock down to six. Walker trying to get loose off the high screen. Forces up a long three. Hits the front of the rim. No good. Rebound taken by Saunders. Saunders in the lane to Walker. She gets fouled as her runner misses off the lip of the rim. No good. And this foul is going to go on Massengill, and that's quickly her second. Foul number 13, Chandler Massengill, her second, and the team So the Lady Balls doing a nice job getting to the free throw line as Ryan Howard returns, tagging in for Massengill, who's likely going to be on the bench for a while with those two fouls. Playing aggressive defense. I love the intensity and the physicality, but right now the referees are not allowing it. Walker misses the first free throw. She's 68% on the year. And it stays a two-point Kentucky lead. Second attempt, missed them both. Rebound, Patterson climbed the ladder for that one. Ten seconds to go in the first quarter. Patterson off a high screen. They call the moving screen at half court on McKinney. That's That looked like a set screen right there. Now, it was physical. It knocked Salary off her feet. But just because it looked like a linebacker coming on a receiver over the middle doesn't mean it was a good call. And the Rupp Arena crowd not happy with the replay they just showed. Neither is the Kentucky bench. Coach Kyra Elsey not happy at all. Nine seconds to go in the quarter. Tennessee with a chance to tie it up at 13 or even take the lead. Horston free throw line jumper is no good. Rebound Wyatt. Wyatt clears it to Howard and a three-quarter a three quarter court shot is no good. And that will take us to the end of the first quarter. Kentucky shooting 29%, Tennessee 24%. Cats lead 13 to 11 on the UK Sports Network. Introducing your LG and E and K. McKinney, Wyatt, and Howard to start the second quarter. It'll be Tennessee basketball as Ryan Howard tips and steals the inbounds. Gives it to Patterson on Horston. Gets fouled, puts up the shot. Good, but they didn't whistle the foul. No call as Horston fell over the back of Patterson. And it's 15 to 11, Kentucky off the steal. Here's Burrell down the lane in transition, and a five-footer over Wyatt is good. Burrell just beat the defense back that time and was one-on-one with Wyatt and just scored a nice jumper in the lane. And it's 15 to 13, Kentucky. Nine and a half minutes to go in the first half. Patterson right side high, guarded by Horston, moving to the top of the elbow. Goes inside wide, cutting baseline, shot blocked by Salary. McKinney picks it up. They find Benton, left corner three in the air. Bottom! And it's 18-13, Kentucky on top. They set up the press, but the Lady Balls are quick in transition. Salary has it knocked away in a double team. Patterson gets it. Patterson... Down the lane, right side runner, good. And it's 20 to 13. 
Kentucky starting to turn over the Lady Vols. That's their third and the second of the second quarter. And we're just now over a minute into this period. Horston in the front court comes left to Burrell. Howard picks her up on the left wing. The fans that are here at Rupp Arena standing right now. Kush Kittawa, free throw line jumper, no good. Rebound Patterson. Chastity with her eyes up, finds Benton up the near sideline. Benton comes down to the left wing, step back three in the air, no good. It was a two, actually. Her feet were on the line. Rebound taken by Salary. Salary weaves her way through traffic, finds Horston top of the key. She drives in on Benton, and a fallaway shot from the right is good out front. And that stops Kentucky's 5-0 run and makes it 20-15 Wildcats. Here's Howard dancing around, driving in right side, 10-footer, air balls into the arms of Horston. Boy, Ryan is having a bad shooting night. She's 0 for 4 to start the game. Here's Burrell, a transition three, short. Rebound Burrell. Burrell to the basket, gets fouled from behind. The shot no good, but a foul is going to be on Ryan Howard from the back side trying to block the shot. And two free throws coming for Burrell. Really nice job by Tennessee's Ray Burrell of following her own shot. She knew when that one left her hands it was going to be short on the three attempt, and nobody boxed her out which is something that Kentucky staff has been imploring their team to figure out and improve on, is boxing out as Burrell hits the free throw, an 80% charity stripe shooter, already with seven of Tennessee's 16 points. And the Wildcats are up by four. Second free throw is no good. Rebound comes to Wyatt. Wyatt finds Howard up the far sideline into front court. Howard against Burrell, right wing, calls out the play. Ryan running point for the Wildcats. Trying to get her team to set up some players standing still. Here's a give and go to McKinney down the left side against Key. Key blocked the shot. It's picked up in the lane by Horston. Lady Vols back the other way. Here's Horston down the left side over Benton. Benton blocks the shot. Horston got it back and rolls a fingertip in from the left baseline. Every time Kentucky, it feels like they block a shot or rip the ball away, Tennessee just seems to find a Lady Vols player. Here's Howard off the high screen, moving free throw line. Out to Wyatt, right side three in the air. Bottom for Todd. Back to a five-point lead, 23-18. to 18. The three ball has been an equalizer for Kentucky as they've hit their fourth in the first half. And it's a five-point Wildcat lead as Burrell takes the pass left wing. Lady Vols working in the half court. Free throw line, Tamari Key. Turnaround jumper is good. You can't let Tamari Key have that wide open of a jumper at the free throw line. She's way too good. Kentucky, though, so concerned with letting the low post be open if they don't come out and guard him. Here's Wyatt off the feed by Howard. They come back to Ryan, top of the Siki. Burrell went for the steal, and now she recovers defensively. 13 on the shot clock. Howard off the high screen, comes down into the low post baseline, off to Patterson, left side three, in and out. Rebound Wyatt, had it knocked away, though. It's taken away by Walker. Tennessee down three with a basketball as Walker brings it into front court, flashes to Burrell, top of the key, now back to Horston. Wyatt is out to guard Horston. Horston wants the three out front. No good, and the rebound taken by Howard. Key went over the back, no call. Howard pushes it ahead to Benton. Benton to the basket. Horston blocks the shot, but fouled her with a body. And two free throws coming for the Wildcats as Horston is now getting a chewing by the referees. Apparently she said something after the whistle, and the veteran official, Tyna Napier, came over and patted her on the back and said, hey, you need to be careful with the emotions. Wyatt and McKinney go out as Edwards and Owens return for the Cats. And it'll be Robin Benton at the line shooting two with her team up three. Another low scoring game between Kentucky and Tennessee. First free throw by Benton is too strong. Robin doesn't miss many. She's 81% on the year. Tennessee now two of seven on their free throws. Kentucky one out of three. Benton misses both, an empty trip. Walker rebounds for the balls. Lady Balls push it into front court. Salary back in the game. She's got it running point against Robin Benton. Salary out in the half court. 20 on the shot clock. Ryan Howard comes up with a steal. It was intended for Burrell. Ryan to the basket pass. Salary gets the runner to go. Two points for Howard, her first bucket of the night, and it's 25 to 20. Here's Burrell on the gallop into front court. Left side takes Howard down towards the paint. Backs out above the wing. Howard comes up with another steal. Take it away from Burrell. Kentucky with a four-on-two advantage. Ryan lobs it inside to Edwards. Turn around left. Good from the right side. And a timeout. Coach Harper and the Lady Balls. 
540 to go in the first half here at Rupp, and it's Kentucky 27, Tennessee 20 on the UK Sports Network. Tonight's Kentucky-Tennessee game is presented by Kroger. Big Blue Nation, visit the Kroger app and get all the fresh you want with delivery or free pickup on orders of $35 or more. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Well, Tennessee certainly brings a tall challenge for anybody in the Southeastern Conference with Kushkinawa and Tamari Key inside, and then you factor in Ray Burrell and normally Renaya Davis, a 6'2 guard, but Davis did not make the trip to Lexington tonight. She did not... Uh, make the trip because of COVID protocols, so the Lady Vols playing a bit short-handed. And Kentucky has used the turnovers and three-pointers to be kind of an equalizer against Tennessee's uh, size inside. The Wildcats have outscored the Lady Vols 12-0 on three-pointers and have a 10-2 advantage in points off turnovers as the Cats have generated five turnovers. That includes four steals, and they've gotten points off that. Ryan Howard, two points, three rebounds, four assists, and a pair of steals already in this game. Kentucky has switched into a 2-3 zone this trip as it's Lady Balls basketball. Walker out front, comes right to Burrell. Howard in front of her. Lady Balls are showing some traps along those wings. Blair Green guarding Burrell now as they bring it to the top of the elbow. Left side to Salary. Salary trying to go inside to Tamari Key. They're doubling the post. Howard comes up with a cross-court steal. Ryan feeds it to Patterson, far sideline. Patterson goes to the basket, right side, runner, good. That's six turnovers, five steals, 12 points for Kentucky, and it's 29 to 20, and Tennessee turns it over in transition. They were looking for Tamari Key, and they just overshot her. Tamari Key stands six foot five. That pass was intended for somebody standing nearly seven feet tall. So salary comes out. And Jesse Rennie, a 5'8 sophomore out of Australia, checks in for the first time. Here's Patterson in the front court between the circles. Kentucky leading by nine on a 6-0 run. Here's Owens out front. Olivia drives into the high post, gives it to Howard, coming off the curl. Howard top of the key, takes Burrell inside, goes to the basket, draws the contact, missed the shot. Owens had the rebound, forces it back up, no good, but a foul is called underneath. And this will go on Kushkinawa. That is Tennessee's second of the quarter. And the first on Kushkinawa. And two free throws coming up for Owens, the Maryland transfer, in her first season in Lexington. Shooting 57% at the line this year. 4.42 to go in the first half, trying to put her team up 10. 
First one is up. A rainbow arcing shot hits the front lip, bounces to the window, and comes off. No good. Owens now 12 of 22 at the line this year. Second free throw attempt. Got that one to sink. And it's 30 to 20. Kentucky with the lead. They've outscored the Lady Balls 17 to 9 here in the second quarter. Kentucky not showing their press. They're getting back, although Patterson's going to apply some pressure on Walker, forcing Burrell to bring it into front court where Howard picks her up. Kentucky has switched back into a man-to-man -man defense this trip. Burrell coming left off the high screen, runs into Howard, and they're going to get Ryan on the foul down low as Ryan had knocked the ball out of Burrell's hands, and now they're going to say jump ball, so no foul on Howard. They've overturned it into a jump ball. They'll say that Ryan grabbed the top of the basketball and it's a held ball, Kentucky possession on the arrow. So credit Howard with another turnover against Tennessee. And Coach Kelly Harper incensed over there on the bench for the Lady Balls. I think she might have just got a warning from Napier. Owens moving left, hands it off to Howard towards the top of the circle. Ryan has really stepped her game up after a couple of shots were missed early in the game. Here's Ryan to the free throw line, finds Patterson. Patterson right wing, dishes to Owens. Owens right baseline, she walked with a basketball. Not a, not a bad idea there by Owen. She tried a shot fake to get Tamari Key to leave her feet, and she did, but she didn't establish her position and turned it over on the traveling violation. That's Kentucky's third turnover of the half. Suarez nearly, nearly carried the basketball at half court. She is not comfortable, and now Edwards steals it away from her. Edwards picks up the loose ball, driving to the basket. Edwards left side, reverse layup, good. Nine turnovers by the Lady Vols. 16 points off turnovers for Kentucky, and it's 32 to 20. Wildcats with the lead. 3.40 to go in the first half. Tamari Key comes out left side high to take the ball. She'll hand it to Burrell. Burrell moving right off the screen, comes down inside against Edwards. Turnaround, fall away shot, rolls off. Rebound taken by Edwards. Drayana with her eyes up, has it knocked free from behind by Walker, and it's taken away by Rennie. She'll give it back to Walker. Near sideline to Burrell. Burrell penetrates within 10 feet. A pop-up shot is no good. Rebound batted around and won by Edwards down low. She clears it ahead to Patterson on the far sideline. Patterson into front court. Comes to Ryan Howard between the circles. 3.07 to play in the first half. Kentucky leads by 12 with a basketball. They'll come out to try to screen Burrell as Howard dribbles the ball left side high. Now it looks like they changed the play. Here's Howard moving right, steps back from 18, gives it to Green left wing. Six seconds to shoot. Green backing away, needs to shoot the ball. Green now drives to the basket. Key bodied her up and then blocked the shot out of bounds. The clock never stopped, and they'll say it's a shot clock violation. Boy, Green just got tied up underneath right there by Tamari Key. So they'll credit Green with a missed layup and a block for Key. And Tatiana Wyatt comes in for Owens. No other changes for Kentucky. Lady Vols have Horston back into the game now. She'll bring it up along with Kushkitawa. They're joined by Rennie. Burrell and Tamari Key. The Lady Vols are down 32 to 12. Here's Kushkitawa out front driving on Edwards. Left side runner's no good. Rebound, Wyatt rips it out of there with a tough elbow. Feeds it ahead to Howard. Howard into the open floor, stutter steps. Lobs it to Benton left corner. A three in the air. No good, but a foul is called on Tamari Key as she pushed her to the floor. Key was trying to block that three point shot and ended up running into Benton and that'll cost him three free throws as Key picks up her second foul. It is a 9-0 run by Kentucky over the last three and a half minutes as part of a bigger 12-2 advantage. Tess Darby enters the game for Tennessee and out goes Key. And Benton at the line to shoot three. She's got five points in the first half. First free throw, smooth as silk into the twine. Second attempt, a couple of practice dribbles, and she tickles the net for a second free throw. 34 to 20. Gets one more here. Third free throw is on the way. She guns, bang, 35 20. Eight points now for Robin Benton, and the Lady Balls have it. Trying to snap a 12 0 Kentucky run. 2.17 to go in the first half here at Rupp Arenas. Burrell takes a tough pass on the right wing. 
Burrell trying to get baseline. Benton knocked the dribble away, but it's going to go out on the baseline. Last touch by Benton, and Tennessee will reset with 17 on the shot clock. It is a 22-9 third quarter in favor of the Big Blue, the Wildcats. And the Big Orange have it under the basket, right side of the goal. They get it underneath to Burrell. Burrell has her shot blocked by Edwards. Somehow, though, it comes off the glass and in, and a foul's called on Edwards. It'll be an and one for Burrell. And that was a play that Kentucky had worked on during shoot-around today to deny that easy inbounds pass right under the basket. The coaching staff stressed it, and still Tennessee executed it. Edwards got a piece of the ball, but not enough to keep it off the glass and going through the net. And it's a three-point play for Burrell as she hits the free throw. That stops a 12-0 run by Kentucky, and it's 35-23. Wildcats by 12 with the ball, under two minutes to go in the first half. Ryan Howard moving right off a tough high screen. Burrell stays with her. They find Wyatt left side to Benton. 12 on the shot clock. Benton against Rennie. Here's, here's Blair Green, and the pass is knocked away. Benton collects it near half court, five to shoot. Benton trying to drive, comes into a double team and lost the ball. On the run out, it's Horston the other way. Horston lost the ball trying to go up. They'll say Wyatt got a piece of it. It'll stay with Tennessee, 97 seconds to go in the half. So Lady Vols maintain possession here, trying to gain some momentum back after Burrell's three-point play. They get a turnover the other way and have it with a chance to get back within 10. Darby on the baseline, trying to trigger it, running out of time, finally gets it into Rennie. Now they'll go upstairs to Horston. Shot clock at 20. They use a high screen to get Horston loose. Left corner, here's Darby, an open three. Good, and that's uh, Tennessee's first three-pointer and five tries, and all of a sudden, it's a 35-26 game. Kentucky's lead down to nine. Howard hands it off to Green right wing. She traveled with a basketball. That's the second turnover on Blair Green, who's had a tough first half. She'll come out as Patterson returns. So back-to-back -back turnovers by Kentucky after the three-point play and the Lady Vols on a 6-0 run all of a sudden and a chance to get it back down to two possessions if they hit another three. Horston moving right off the high screen. Comes to Darby out front. Darby shot fakes, tried to penetrate, walled off, comes back to Horston. Down to a minute to go in the first half, 13 on the shot clock. Kushkitawa takes it at the free throw line. Right side to Rennie. Rennie right corner, Horston tries a three. That's no good, and the rebound is taken by Howard in traffic. Ryan scampers into front court, flips it to Patterson left side. Shot fakes now, drives from the right baseline and hits a little teardrop from the left, from the left side of the arc. On the left side of the goal, and it's 37-26. Kentucky goes back up 11 with 33 seconds to go in the half. Orston against Patterson, moving left. They come to Darby out front. Darby wanted that three. Edwards came out to block it. Now the ball's stripped free inside. Howard comes up with a loose ball. Shot clock is off. Kentucky can hold for the final shot here. They'll run it down. We're to 15 seconds and counting at Rupp Arena. First half. Kentucky's made five of their last seven shots, now up to 42% for the half. Seven to shoot. Here's Howard driving right. Howard trying to find the lane against Burrell, forces up the shot through contact. It went halfway down and popped out because Kittawa rebounds to end the half. Ryan Howard wanted the whistle, and she didn't get it against Ray Burrell, and that has been a fun matchup to watch here at Rupp Arena. First... Lady Balls will start the second half with the basketball. They'll swap into the floor, so Tennessee will move right to left on your radio dial. Ryan Howard, Chastity Patterson, Jasmine Massengill, Tatiana Wyatt, and Kiki McKinney starting the second half for Kentucky. Horston has it for the Lady Balls, along with Tamari Key. Kushkitawa now at the free throw line. Open jumper on the way, no good. Wyatt battling for the rebound. That one, though, hit the top of the glass and goes in. Wow. Thought that was going to come off no good. It went straight up in the air and fell down in. So Tennessee starts the, the uh, third quarter same way they started the game with a basket on their opening possession. Ryan Howard takes the pass right side. Kentucky shooting to your right. Here's Howard to the free throw line off to Patterson left side. Patterson driving into the lane among the trees, forces up a left-hander that won't go, and the rebound taken by Walker. Walker's then fouled on the rebound. That'll go on Patterson, her first and the team first. Kentucky leads by nine. It'll be Lady Ball basketball. The Wildcats led by 15 in the second quarter at 35 to 20. Tennessee reeled off six in a row. 
Patterson against Walker in the backcourt. She brings it into front court. The first half was very physical. We'll see if the second half remains so. Walker very loose with the dribble. Comes to Kushkitawa, top of the key. Left side, Horston. Massengill went for the steal. Horston kept the ball, though. Missed the runner. Tamari Key for the offensive rebound. Puts it up and in. Four straight points by Tennessee as they've got Kushkitawa and Key back in the game. And they are really focused on scoring inside against Kentucky. It led them to success in Knoxville. Massengill has it right wing against Horston. 15 on the shot clock. Massengill free throw line jumper blocked by Horston. Massengill got it back off to Patterson. Patterson in the lane. Comes back to McKinney. Seven to shoot. Gives it to Massengill. Upstairs Patterson, a 25-footer out front is no good off the glass. And the rebound taken by Horston. She's fouled by Howard on a reach in. Howard tried to tie her up and instead picks up her second foul. So the Lady Balls have come out have scored four points. Kentucky's missed three shots to open the second half. And the Lady Vols down by seven have the basketball. It's 37 to 30. And I think Tamari Key may have got a finger in the eye. She's trying to wipe some vision back into that left eye. She'll inbound it. Wyatt face guarding. Kentucky in their full court press. They do get it into Horston along the baseline. Horston, Walker, Key, Kushkitawan, Burrell on the floor for the Lady Vols. They've scored four straight to start the third. Down by seven with the Rock. Horston moving left. Not a lot of ball movement right now. Not a lot of movement off the ball either by Tennessee. They trigger it into Key, and she turned it over. Ryan Howard picks up her sixth steal. Here comes Ryan to the basket the other way. Goes over Horston and scores a left side runner. First points of the second half for Kentucky as Walker gets it into front court left wing just over the hands of Howard looking for another steal. Kushkitawa double team, nearly traveled. Off to Burrell, right side three is good. Burrell with 13, gets her first three, and it's 39-33. Lady Vols down six. Here's Howard, top of the circle, comes to Wyatt, left corner Massengill. Back to Howard, Burrell went for the steal. Nearly overran it. Howard against Burrell, comes right to McKinney. McKinney drives on Kushkitawa, right-hand floater, comes off the ellipse, no good. Rebound Walker. Kentucky now one of five in the second half. Same cold shooting they had to start the game. Here's Horston driving on Massengill, gets fouled, and the shot comes high off the glass, no good. Massengill fouled her, it's a shooting foul. Two free throws coming up for Horston as Tennessee is on a 7-2 run to begin the second half. And Blair Green's going to check into the game for Massengill, who just picked up her third. Orston at the line shooting two. Jordan had six points in the first half on three of ten shooting. She missed both of her free throws in that first half. 84% on the year. Odds are she won't miss both of these, and she does connect on the first to make this a five-point game, 39-34. Tennessee has come out with a little more energy to start the third quarter. They're making shots. Horston goes two for two, and it is a 9-2 run by the Lady Balls to begin the third quarter. Here comes Howard racing into front court on the attack. Howard down the left side gets walled off by Burrell and Horston. Howard off a high screen, gets caught by Burrell, falls down. That'll be a foul on Ray Burrell. Tennessee bench wanted a moving screen, but... This one's going to go on Burrell. That is her first and the team first. And with a 21-second shot clock, Howard will inbound it from in front of her own bench on the far sideline. Now they'll shift her slightly towards the scorer's table. Howard looking inside, triggers it to McKinney. McKinney quickly gives it back to Ryan. Ryan gets to the free throw line, lost the dribble in traffic. It's another turnover. Walker picks up the loose ball, and Patterson tips the pass at midcourt. Picked up by Howard back the other way. Here's a lob to Wyatt left side. Tatiana comes to Blair Green, free throw line jumper on the way. No good, rebound Horston. Kentucky now one out of six here in the third quarter. Lady Vols on a 9-2 run. They're down five with the Rock as they throw it inside to the key, and it's knocked out of bounds by Kiki McKinney on the baseline. They'll get Drayana Edwards in for Kentucky, and out goes Wyatt. Kentucky trying to find a spark offensively. They scored 24 points in the second quarter to lead by... 11 at halftime, and the Lady Balls have come out ripping and roaring to a 9-2 run. Well, Tennessee or Kentucky has missed five of six shots. Now the officials are talking about something, and it appears they might be going to the monitor. 
The Tennessee bench was asking about something, and that has triggered a replay check by our officials. 6.40 to go in the third quarter, and Tennessee will have it down 39-35 as they beckon the teams to the benches while they check something on replay. Maybe we can find out what it is. Okay. So they're going to change the foul call. They were checking a foul down on the other end. And so they'll say it was on Burrell instead of Horston as the initial indication had been on Horston, but they overturned that, so that's what they were checking on. So it is a foul on Burrell, her first. And it will be Tennessee basketball on the baseline under the basket, 6.40 to go in the third quarter. They trigger it in to Burrell, turnaround 10-footer is no good, and the rebound is loose, picked up by the Lady Balls, Kushkitawa. Left side of the arc, Kushkitawa, left lane, spins, and a double team throws it high off the glass, no good. Burrell rebounds and powers it up and in. Lady Balls really attacking the glass strong to start the second half, and they are on a, an 11-2 run, and they've closed it down to two at 39-37. Here's Green on a shot fake. Throws it inside to Edwards, tipped out by Key. Edwards collects it in the left corner, 18 to shoot. Here's Edwards, free throw line jumper, blocked by Key. Patterson picks it up. You can't just do a pull-up jumper around Tamari Key. She's too good. She'll block the shot. Patterson has a shot blocked by Key at the free throw line. Now off the... Uh, block shot key hits a layup in transition and Tennessee has stormed from 15 points down to tie up the Wildcats here at Rupp Arena and force a timeout by coach Kyra Elsey. It is a 13 to 2 Tennessee run to start the second half and as we go to break with 554 to play in the third this one all tied at 39 on the UK Sports Network. Florida for a Monday night matchup with the Gators, so we will not have a Kyra Elsey show this coming week as the Cats are on the road at Florida. Right now they are tied with Tennessee at 39. The Lady Balls on a 13-2 run to open the third quarter here at Rupp Arena. 5.54 to play. Kentucky just one of eight to start the second half. Tennessee is five of eight. Kentucky has turned it over a bunch early in this second half, and that's sort of jump-started Tennessee's offense as they've done a nice job, as they typically do, of working the ball into the paint and getting some short jumpers. Kentucky has the basketball resuming play. Patterson top of the circle, 10 on the shot clock as Howard takes it right wing. Howard step back three for the lead right side off the mark. She's had a bad night shooting now, just two of nine and 0 for two from beyond the arc. That was a good look, but it was off the mark as soon as it left her hands. Tennessee goes for the lead. Burrell driving around Howard, gets into the low post. Fall away shot is in and out, and the rebound is tapped around. Loose one by Kushkitawa. Kushkitawa powers up and draws a foul. This one's going to go on McKinney. That is Kiki's second as Tennessee has a 10-2 advantage on the glass here in the second half. Both teams had 23 rebounds at halftime, and the Lady Vols have dominated the windowsill here in the third quarter. They already are up to seven offensive, actually 12 offensive rebounds and 10 second chance points as Owens comes in for McKinney. And the Lady Balls have come out of the locker room with fire in their bellies and they have taken the fight right to Kentucky. Wildcats do not seem to have the same confident energy that we saw in the first half as Cooker. Walker, it looks like, might have got Chastity on the arm lowering that scoop shot, but. There was no whistle, so Tennessee will defend an inbounds play with a four-second shot clock now. Patterson to trigger it. Lobs it into traffic. It's knocked away and stolen. Bad decision leads to a bad turnover. Three orange jerseys and one white one. You can't throw it in there. It's a turnover, the eighth of the game for Kentucky. Lady balls up by two with a basketball. Horston right side high, throws it underneath the key. Key lobs it back out, Burrell, a wide open left side three is nothing but the bottom of the net. It is 15-2, a 14-0 run by the Lady Balls, and it's 44-39. Tennessee has their largest lead of the game. 
An impressive third quarter by Tennessee here at Rupp Arena, outscoring Kentucky 18-2 thus far. And Kentucky has gone quiet offensively. Blair Green circles to take the pass right wing. Now they'll feed it to Edwards. Turnaround 18-footer is no good. And Kentucky is once again settling for bad 18-footers. And a foul on the rebound as Tamari Key was held by Edwards. And that'll be the fourth foul on Kentucky. Blair Green goes out. Jasmine Massengill and Robin Benton are back in. Patterson goes out. The foul was on Owens, her second. And they'll walk the other way. That actually was the fifth foul on Kentucky. So Tamari Key will walk the other way to shoot two. Tamari Key with eight points. This will be her first trip to the charity stripe where she's shooting 64% this year. And the front one is no good short. Lady Vols have held Kentucky scoreless for nearly four minutes here in the third quarter. They've outscored them 14 to nothing in that span. And 18 to two for the entire quarter. Key goes one out of two at the free throw line. It's 45-39, Lady Balls. Massengill into front court trying to spark this offense that has gone stagnant. They've missed 11 of 10, uh, they've missed 11 of 12 shots here in the third quarter. Edwards hands it off to Benton. Kentucky looking sluggish offensively against Tennessee's man-to-man defense. Howard takes the pass left side. Shot clock down to 10. Here's Howard into the lane, dumps it off in the left corner. Driving baseline, Owens up and under. Her shot was stuffed by Key. You cannot go inside on Tennessee with Kushkitawa and Tamari Key unless you spread the floor and create advantageous situations. Lady Balls with a chance to add to a six-point advantage here. 3-11 to go in the third. Kushkitawa finds Horston between the circles. Shot clock down to seven. Lady Balls have the tempo now where they want it. Horston free throw line jumper in and out. Rebound is tipped around and won by Dreana Edwards on the far sideline. Dre drives all the way to the basket, dumps it to Massengill, right wing three, good! Finally, Kentucky gets a shot to fall to break that 14, now 15-0 run, and Kentucky's down three, 45-42. Wildcats go into a 2-3 zone. Walker comes left to Horston, 2.37 to go in the third. Walker back to Horston, 2-3 zone, free throw line key. Key trying to pass it out of trouble, throws it to Burrell, high on the right, Burrell lost it out of bounds into the Tennessee bench. McKinney and Wyatt return for the Wildcats. Well, Kentucky's walking the other way, somebody's got to get this inbounds pass from Kiki. Right in front of Coach Harper in the Tennessee bench, McKinney triggers it into Massengill. 45-42, Kentucky down three with a basketball, trying to get the offense flowing again. Massengill high on the right. Finds Howard between the circles. Shot clock at 15. Here's Benton left wing, flashing open momentarily. Benton circles above the arc, top of the elbow, hands it to Massengill right side. Shot clock at seven. Massengill dribbles to the free throw line. Give and go to Wyatt off the pick and roll, and Wyatt scores a right side layup. And it's a 45-44 Tennessee lead. Five straight points by the Wildcats. 150 to go in the third. And now Robin Benton goes for a steal. Burrell escapes with a basketball, though. 15 on the shot clock. Tennessee stays facing a zone defensive look from Kentucky. 10 to shoot. Here's Walker out front. Back to Burrell left wing. She'll trigger a three that's no good. Rebound Howard. Kentucky guns for the lead now. Howard into front court right side. Comes down to the arc. Takes Horston inside. Spins away. Lost the ball. Goes free throw line to Wyatt, now back to Howard, right side. 1.20 to go. Howard against Horston, free throw line off to Wyatt, right side, a three in the air, no good, rebound Burrell. I love the look, the shot just wouldn't go for Wyatt. She can shoot those threes. 105 to go in the third. Lady Balls with a one point lead in the ball. Horston against Walker. Walker takes the pass, left side Burrell. Kentucky in a 2-3 zone. Now Walker, right side to Horston. 10 to shoot, back to Burrell, left wing. Burrell trying to penetrate, cuts down low. Five footer is good with a right hand as she got down deep inside. And it's back to a three point Tennessee lead. 40 seconds to go in the third. Robin Benton, free throw line for Kentucky. Hand off to Massengill, right side. 
Tennessee leads 47-44. They have the tempo where they want it, and Kentucky's cold shooting has allowed them to get the lead back. Massengill, free throw line jumper, banks in good off the glass. 47-46, Massengill off the bench, has five points here in the third quarter. After sitting with her third foul, she's come in and lit a spark under this team offensively. She shot him back within one. Lady Vols holding for the final shot. Five seconds to go in the third. Horston out front, moves right. Horston down low, gets all the way to the basket, missed the runner short. Ball's loose on the floor, and they'll run out the clock before anybody gains possession. A nice rally. 50% in the third quarter. They were 7 of 14 as they went on a 15-0 run to take a six-point lead, but Kentucky closed the quarter nicely to have a chance at the lead here as we start the fourth. It's 47-46 Tennessee. Kentucky with the basketball, attacking to your right. Kiki McKinney's got it upstairs, left side to Ryan Howard on the wing. Howard comes to Robin Benton. They're joined by Tatiana Wyatt on the floor. Massengill touches the ball right wing. Free throw line to Wyatt, turnaround jumper, good for the lead. Wyatt's free throw line bouncer goes in and it's 48-47 Kentucky. They're back in front and in a 1-2-2 press to slow down Tennessee. Wildcats used a 2-3 zone at the end of the third quarter to really slow down the Tennessee offense. Here's Walker out front. Comes to Kush Kittawa right wing. Now to Burrell between the circles. Burrell ne nearly slid the pivot foot. Off to Walker, left side three for the lead is off the mark. Rebound Howard. There she is again. Howard up the floor near sideline. Ryan thought about the kick. Instead an SEC logo jumper comes off. Rebound Wyatt, throws it back up on a fall away. That's no good. Rebound to Mari Key. Two good looks for Kentucky and neither would fall. Here's Burrell the other way. Over four defenders, a five-foot hook is no good. Rebound McKinney. Clears it ahead to Massengill near sideline. Jasmine said, hey, let's slow down and be under control here. Kentucky 48, Tennessee 47. 8.45 to go in the fourth quarter. Benton right wing takes the handoff, comes to McKinney between the circles. Now left side to Howard. Walker on Howard. Tennessee man-to-man. -man. Massengill takes it between the circles. Shot clock down to eight. Massengill right side Benton against Burrell, five to shoot. Here's Benton all the way to the basket. Her runner is blocked out of bounds by Key, flashing in from the help side. And Kentucky will have a two second shot clock on this inbounds play as Chastity Patterson returns to the game. And let's see, it's Robin Benton checking out. Walker goes out for Tennessee and Rennie replaces her on the floor. Massengill to throw it in, two seconds to shoot it. They're looking for Howard. Here she is in the corner, instead it's Wyatt. Free throw line jumper, no good at the shot clock horn. Rebound to Mari Key. So Kentucky now one of four to open this quarter. They're shooting just 24% in the second half, but they lead by one, 48-47. And they had a couple of really nice looks on that trip, just couldn't get one to fall. Here's Burrell. Burrell fakes the three, goes to Rennie in the corner, and now down low, Howard steals the pass intended for Key inside. Ryan into front court, right side, dances down the lane, Ryan to the basket, runner good off the glass. And it's 50 to 47, Kentucky by three. They set up into their 1-2-2. Horston calling out the play as her team retreats. Kentucky just showing that 1-2-2 to try to slow down Tennessee. 7.40 to go. 2-3 zone by the Lady Vols. Burrell has it left wing, guarded by Patterson out of that zone look. Shot clock down to 10 already as they skip it to Horston right wing. Underneath Kushkitawa, double team looking for the outlet, comes to Burrell straight away. Burrell with three to shoot into the lane, puts up the shot off the back iron, no good. Rebound loose on the floor among the bodies. It's tied up, it'll be Kentucky ball. It was Kushkitawa and Ryan Howard on the floor to tie it up. Actually, if it's a held ball, it should be Kentucky's arrow. They clean up some perspiration. There's a question right now by, and it appears it's gonna be Tennessee basketball. Oh, that's right, yeah. It didn't switch on my monitor, that's my fault. They had the switch at the start of the quarter. That was Kentucky, so it is Tennessee possession. It didn't switch on my, uh, monitor here, that's why we had that mistake. So they get it into Key with two to shoot. Key has it knocked away from behind by McKinney. Ryan Howard picks up the loose ball and comes into front court left wing. Here's Howard off the high screen, comes off to McKinney, left side three in the air, bottom! <laughs> McKinney, who's shooting close to 50% from three in SEC play, puts Kentucky up six, and Tennessee wants a timeout to talk about it. 
the limited crowd here at Rupp Arena on their feet cheering for the Big Blue as Kentucky has rallied on a 7-0 run to start the fourth quarter. And it's 53-47 Wildcats over the Lady Vols on the UK Sports Network. when leading at the half. Tennessee outscored Kentucky 21-9 in the third quarter to erase an 11-point halftime deficit and lead 47-46. But Kentucky starts the fourth quarter on a 7-0 run to lead 53-47. Starting five on the floor for Kentucky, Massengill, Patterson, Howard, Wyatt, and McKinney. They'll go against Saunders, Kushkitawa, Farrell, Horston, and Rennie, Jesse Rennie. Horston has it in the half court out of this timeout. 2-3 zone by Kentucky. Horston moving to the left side of the arc. Between the circles, Kush Kittawa. Now back to Horston. Shot clock at 18. Rennie has it right side high. Back to Horston. Horston now drives inside the left part of the arc. They'll go to Burrell. Baseline jumper's no good. Kush Kittawa grabs the rebound and a turnaround layup is good. And Ryan Howard has hit the deck. She appears to be hurt. They'll stop play as Kentucky was in transition. That layup by Kushkitawa off the offensive rebound stopped Kentucky's 7-0 run and gets Tennessee back within four at 53-49. Ryan Howard has helped to her feet and is gingerly jogging towards the Kentucky bench. She shakes her head and nods that she's okay. But she has got a bit of a limp right now on that left knee that's been bandaged right below the kneecap. So it's Kentucky ball. They quickly inbound it to Massengill. She moves right, guarded by Rennie. They'll come to McKinney between the circles. Looking to hand it off to Howard, she does. Burrell is on Ryan, 15 to shoot. Here's Ryan, free throw line, pull up 18 footer off the baseline, no good, rebound Kush Kittawa near the free throw line. Howard now just three of 12 shooting in this game. She was three of 16 in the matchup in Knoxville. Lady Vols down four with a basketball. It's Horston, left side to Burrell. Lady Vols doing a nice job moving against Kentucky's 2-3 zone. 12 to shoot though. They'll come to Kushkitawa out high, left side, back to Horston, eight on the shot clock, 5.55 to go in the game. Horston gets to the baseline and a five footer from behind the backboard somehow rolls in good. Boy, Horston couldn't do that one again if she tried. What a shot. And it's 53-51, four straight points for Tennessee. Massengill moving left, finds Howard on the wing. A grimace in her face as she planted that foot. They'll swing it back to Patterson right side. Kentucky needs a bucket. Patterson dribbling to the free throw line, lost the ball in traffic, back to Howard, left corner, a three is good for Ryan Howard. They're gonna call it a two, her feet were just inside the line. A 19 footer from the left corner is good for Howard and it's 55-51. Horston lobs a pass to Burrell, right corner, shot fakes, now drives baseline, puts it up, good off the glass. Drove around the smaller Patterson. That was a bad mismatch for Kentucky there as uh, Burrell just towered over Patterson and Kentucky will burn a timeout with 5.04 to go in the game here at Rupp Arena. It's Kentucky 55, Tennessee 53. The possession arrow favors the Wildcats. Neither team has committed a foul here in the fourth quarter. Both teams have two timeouts remaining. And Tennessee has hit three straight field goals because they're starting to figure out this zone and they're getting good looks in the paint from basically point blank. Kentucky in this game is 11 of 22 on their layups. Tennessee is 10 of 19. Lady Vols have a 28-24 edge in the paint, but Kentucky has outscored them 24 to eight off turnovers and 18 to two in fast break points. That's kind of where the game has been made up despite Kentucky's poor shooting. Wildcats are 37% for the game, but that's five points better than they were down in Knoxville. 55-53 the score out of the timeout. Massengill goes to work, left wing in the half court. They got Patterson out high against Walker. Step back, shot from out front, rattles in for Patterson. She's got 15 and it's 57-53. Kentucky needs a stop. They'll extend the zone out now with Massengill and Patterson. Walker has it between the circles, trying to pass it to Horston. She gets it to her, past the outstretched hand of Massengill. Here's Darby, an open three from the left wing. No good, and the rebound chased down by Patterson. Here comes Kentucky on the run. 
Massengill, near side, takes the pass back to McKinney. Over to Massengill, right wing. 20 on the shot clock. Tennessee trying for a stop there and a man-to-man. Massengill using a screen, goes to the free throw line. Doesn't like the shot against Tamari Key. Backs it out to Blair Green. Now to Drayana Edwards. Eight to shoot. Edwards into the paint. Floats it to Massengill. Left side open three. Bottom. <laughs> Massengill with eight points. And it's 60 to 53. Kentucky goes up seven. 3.57 to go at Rupp. Horston right side high with the basketball. Tennessee without Renaya Davis tonight. Horston into the lane, gets down to the low post, runs over Kiki McKinney, and I think they'll call that a block on Kiki. She wasn't in a defensive stance, but she got pushed down anyway. That'll be her third, and the first on Kentucky here in the fourth quarter. It is a two-shot foul. Ryan Howard right now on the bench after she got that left leg sort of bumped and shaken up. We have seen her score 20 points one-handed, and tonight, We've seen her score a 19-foot jump shot on one leg. And it looks like Ryan's going to report back to the scorer's table. We had a momentary delay while they fixed the net on one end of the floor. The uh, netting had gotten tangled up. So Ryan comes in for Blair Green. Kushkitawa and Burrell return as Darby goes out, and so does Rennie. Kentucky's outscored Tennessee 14-6 here in the fourth quarter, but it's Horston at the line shooting two. McKinney just picked up her third foul. Horston's first free throw is no good off the back rim. Horston now two of five at the charity stripe. She has 10 points and seven rebounds tonight. It stays a seven point Kentucky lead, 348 to go. Second free throw is good, 60 to 54. Massengill gets the inbounds. Walker applying some pressure. Here comes Horston looking for a trap. Massengill sees it, fires it to Howard, far sideline. Now back on the near sideline, Patterson. Lady Ball's trying to create a turnover with some traps. They've gotten really aggressive defensively. Howard, right wing, sees Kushkitawa. They dump it underneath the Edwards for a wide open layup as she was cutting the right baseline. Howard found McKinney. McKinney saw Edwards cutting, and it's an easy bucket for Drayana Edwards. It's 62-54. Kentucky by eight. Here's Horston, free throw line, circling into the paint. A five-footer comes off, no good. Rebound McKinney. She's got it ahead to Patterson. Cats on the gallop in the front court. Give and go to Edwards, runner, no good. And the rebound's going to come off to Burrell. Edwards was just too fast and too far under the basket when she shot that over-the-shoulder roller, and it come off the rim, no good. That's the first miss in the last five shots for Kentucky. 2.53 to go. Horston, free throw line. Right-hander is no good. Rebound off the backboard. It's going to go to Walker, who's then shoved to the floor, and that'll be a shooting foul on Kentucky. It'll go on Edwards. That is her second. And stops the clock with 2.48 to go here at Rupp Arena. Cats will be back at Memorial Coliseum on February 18th against LSU. That's a week from tonight. Two free throws for Jordan Walker, who's 68% on the year. Missed two earlier tonight. She has no points. And the first one is no good. Lady Vols are starting to leave some precious points at the free throw line as they have missed eight of 17. And they're down by eight. To make it a seven point game, Walker misses that one and the rebound ripped out of there by Edwards. She'll find Massengill ahead far sideline to Patterson. Left corner three, got it! There's a dagger for Kentucky's Patterson. She's got 18, and Kentucky goes up 11 with two and a half minutes to go. Timeout, Tennessee. This Kentucky team has made some big-time shots here tonight against a really good Tennessee defense. Lady, the Lady Cats, Lady Balls held Kentucky to 53 points in the first meeting. The Wildcats have 65 here tonight. Just doing some quick research. This is only the seventh time in Tennessee's 15 games that they have allowed 65 or more points. They gave up 65 and a 14 point win against Florida in their last game, which was January 31st. 
It had been a week ago this past Sunday. 65-54, Tennessee with the ball down by 11. Massengill guarding Horston. The Wildcats have switched back into a man-to-man. Kushkinawa, 19-footer out front is no good. Kentucky will let her have that shot all day. And the rebound is battled for, and it's going to go out of bounds off Walker of Tennessee on the baseline. 2.23 to go. Now Tennessee's got to, or Kentucky rather, has to avoid turnovers. Tennessee has set up full court pressure. They trigger it into Howard along the far sideline, and now she'll get it into front court to Massengill, and Massengill wants to run some clock. Tennessee's still trying to trap and create turnovers. Wildcats have only turned it over eight times tonight. 15 to shoot for Howard as she moves to the left wing off the screen. Comes to McKinney between the circles. They'll take this down to two minutes to go in Lexington. Here's Massengill, top of the circle. Shot clock at five. Massengill to Patterson right. Down to Edwards. Baseline, Edwards lost it. Tamari Key falls on it, and that'll be a shot clock violation as Tamari Key basically laid with the ball on the floor, and now Drayana Edwards picks up a technical, and so does Tamari Key. Coach Elsey and Coach Harper both at half court. Three fouls on Kentucky, one on Tennessee. The Lady Vols are going to have to start fouling if they want to climb back into this one because they've got three to give. 152 to go in the basketball game. Kentucky leads by 11. The inbounds triggered to Walker. Kentucky showing full court to try and slow them down. Now they scamper back into the half court. Walker, center circle, moving right. Thought about the three and instead tries to go inside the key. They find her double teamed in the post. Key misses the shot. Ryan Howard with another rebound. Ryan's going to bring it up herself. 90 seconds to go here in Lexington. Howard moving right. Comes in down to the low post. Bounces it out to Massengill. Left corner three. Got it. 68-54. Kentucky now goes back up 14 with a minute 18 to go in the game. Walker in the front court. Coach Harper jumping up and down, trying to get her team to go with some urgency. Walker flashes down the right lane and scores a tough runner. Now they try to foul Massengill at half court. Massengill runs over to Mari Key, but not before they whistled the reach in on Jada Walker. It's 68-56 Kentucky, and that's only the second foul on Tennessee, so the Lady Vols have got to foul three more times to get the uh, Wildcats to the line with 1.07 to go in the game. Ryan Howard will inbound it. Morrell will try to come up and face guard. Massengill gets the inbounds, 1.05 to go, and it doesn't look like Tennessee's urgent to foul. Orston trying to steal it away from Massengill. One minute to go in the game. Here's McKinney out front. Looks like Tennessee may be content to play out the string down 12. 13 on the shot clock. Massengill comes out to McKinney. Kiki with 10 to shoot. Tried to dish it to Edwards. Finds her in the right corner. Edwards drives baseline against Key and is fouled on the body block by Tamari Key. Tamari Key put the hip to her along the baseline, and that's the fourth foul on Key with 45 seconds to go and a 20-second shot clock on the reset for Kentucky. So the Lady Balls are not fouling. Kentucky leads by 12, trying to even the season series. They get it into Edwards up high. Now to Patterson left. She wants a three. Bottom! That is the 10th three-pointer for the Wildcats, and it's 71-56. Uh, 40 seconds to go in the game as Kentucky breaks the 70-point barrier against this tight Kentucky def uh, Tennessee defense. 33 seconds to go. Burrell off the high screen, free throw line. Moving screen to Mari Key. And she just fouled out of the game. So Tamari Key picks up her fifth. She'll sit with nine points. Wildcats did a terrific job against Tamari Key tonight, holding her to nine with the way she's been playing. All around, this has been an impressive team performance for Kentucky, leading Tennessee 71-56. Twenty-nine seconds to go in the game. Shot clock is off. Tennessee will press the inbounds, but Kentucky can just run out the clock if they choose to. And Darby's going to come in for key. And I think I, I think I saw Coach Harper just tell her team no fouls. They want to try to deny the inbound, but now they'll back off. Ryan Howard has it in a double team, gets away. 25 seconds to go. Over to Massengill, back to Howard, and it looks like Tennessee's still trying to trap without fouling. They go to Massengill, 15 seconds to go. And we'll let the Kentucky faithful at Rupp Arena count it down to a big win over Tennessee here tonight. 
Tennessee leaves the floor with eight seconds to go, and we'll count it down. Five, four, three, two, one, ball game. Final score, Rupp Arena here tonight, Kentucky exacts a little vengeance against the Tennessee Lady Balls with a 71-56 win as Kentucky outscores Tennessee 25-9 in that fourth and final quarter. Wildcats shoot 10 threes. They turn Tennessee over 17 times. This is Kentucky basketball that the fans here in Lexington have come to know and love. 71-56, Wildcats over the Lady Vols at Rupp Arena. Wildcat wrap-up comes your way next on the UK Sports Network.